Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dave Dobbs here. Um, apologies about the last video I just posted and it didn't have any sound. I'm just having to do very quick videos because I'm basically in Boston in, in near Lincoln and it's just it's really bad um, signal around here. And I've just bought a new boat up here um, very impulsively. It came up on the up on Facebook marketplace and, um, and they asked him why he was selling it so cheap and and he said he wanted a quick sale and literally the the money from my mum's um the my mum left me you know the whole probate thing had just gone through and it was just like there was 25 grand in my account and it was just like and the boat was 25 grand and so i rung him up and it was cool the boat was called gracie and it's kind of like it was like um it was the name of a very dear soul who's passed away and um it was just before my mother's the, you know the anniversary of her leaving and ironically the anniversary of Gracie and um, so I rang the guy up and I said look I said it's just so mad that it comes in now and it just feels like it's such a divine message and um, I'd rather put my money into something like that and you're selling that for such a ridiculously low price considering what it is I just I'm gonna come down I'm just gonna give you the money you're asking because it, it's um, you're leaving up you're leaving a workable margin um, that enables me to come down and even if it does need a bit of plating and that sort of stuff it needs a lot of work all the ceilings come down and that sort of stuff but he's done some amazing work in the bits he's done but um anyway I'm gonna um anyway so I've done that and I'm just down here just doing some work on it just trying to sort it out trying to get it ready to and trying to get it ready for a boat safety and and um and just try to get it so it's you know fit, finish the bathroom and finish the main kind of living space and the and all the galley area and that sort of stuff and just like uh you know full steam ahead really in that and i've just needed to kind of focus myself in that a friend of mine's just got just passed away and um you know she had massively expanded heart and kind of like it seems like she rejected all her organs or something like that you know three weeks ago she was like perfectly fine walking over the hills you know she was a healthcare worker so you know i'm not too sure if, she, if she'd had the you know what but you know, the crazy thing is she didn't remember who she was or where she was or anything. Really scary. Anyway, um, flybys and what's going on. I think we've had the main part of this big flyby. I think it's done. I think we're past it. Even though I saw a massive release of magma from that big volcano in um, in Iceland. Um, biggest I've seen, you know, they were at 30 kilometers filming it. And when it started releasing, they all ran, everyone filming it, were like, where are you gonna run? 30 kilometers, they were, you know, originally they were like four or five kilometers away. Now they had to move 30 kilometers and they tried to run when this thing released, the volume of magma it released about a week ago. I can't do the overlays and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna have to talk you through it. But basically it's gonna be next year now for the closest proximity, you know, like, you know, two years ago, we'd had the worst storm in China for, um, since 1998, when Comet Haley Bop was around. And then um, last year they had the worst storms in China since 1930, since Pluto was discovered. And um, and I said in all my previous videos, guys, you're gonna see massive storms all around this same time now, you know, and then the previous year to that, the, you know, in 2018, we'd, um, we'd, we'd seen do you remember Krakata uh, Kilauea had gone off? Kilauea had gone off massive, massive in, in, on the big island in Hawaii. And we'd had a massive sighting and I just couldn't understand it. And it so began the reworking of the model, which the big part of that was coming out of this kind of heliocentric kind of idea, this standard model idea, and realizing it's, it's a 500 year old story that was used to silence Galileo. And it was used to keep us all in the dark in this tiny part of shadow where most of the earth is in bathed in sunlight you know the shadow aspect that we that we all out with that we base all our astronomical research on is the most limited aspect of the bigger picture you know all of this stuff arrived in the 1920s and 30s it's been hiding in plain sight now we saw the twins we've just seen that i think brandon and corey nagley put some amazing shots up um, of the twins. We've seen all the debris coming in from the twins. Don't forget they're moving in the same direction coming round with us. They're slightly further away now because they've come past us and going sort of around the back and heading on. Now they're, they're moving a very similar speed to Earth. So all the debris that we're seeing at the moment is going to be the longest duration asteroid you will ever see in your life. Um, 
they're going to be sticking around. They're going to they're going to stick in the sky. You can know how is that possible? Um, those two objects, I expected them to be a lot closer, as I did obviously the big whatever you want it, what you what, the Jupiter like um, object, the big blue object that we've been catching a lot, a lot at this time. Steve Rady caught it last year on the 20th of January, on the 20th of July. Amazing shot of it, and we've seen. And I finally allowed for that in my model to actually come in, come from where it, where where it's orbiting, and come in towards our sun, round our sun, and go and go out the other side. And we're approaching it the the perigee point of that. And that's I thought it was going to be this year. It looks like it's going to be next year. Ironically, next year, the point is going to be due. They're going to be firing up with a large hadron collider. And you remember, kind of like Nostradamus's big prediction there. You know, all should leave Geneva when the air becomes dry beware of the contrary ray pod it will destroy everything you know of course the contrary ray pod con the contrary ray pods contrary rays of positively charged particles could that be what he was he was referring to anyway you know there's no chance that all this stuff is going on and um so we've got to get to that but now those two the, the twins the twin twin tails <laughs> The, you know the twins, as Alex Luhum from the Planet Planet X channel calls calls them, um, they come back to their February and March positions. You know the 2010, 2011 earthquakes, that February the 27th, 2010, and and March the 11th, 2011, which Fukushima. Um, they that's going to be you know February, around about February the 27th, 2022, and you know, the 11th of March, 2023, you know, and, and we're back to that old pattern. These come back to their kind of like, you know, the official perihelion point, the official point Jupiter is closest to our sun is on the 20th of January, 19, uh, 2023. That's the official point in our, what we would call our, our current kind of like current astronomical kind of models. Ironically, if you were to add, if you were to deduct the exact 11.89 years it takes for Jupiter to move around our sun from that date, you'd come to almost exactly the 11th of the 11th of March 2011. Deduct another, deduct it again, you come back pretty much to the point where we were saying Comet Haley Bop flew by. Deduct it again, you come to when Chernobyl went bang. You come to when Haley's Comet, go figure, was coming around. Um, you know these patterns. You know you keep going back every tw another 11.89 years, and you'll see the biggest dams collapse. You'll see the biggest. This system has been tracking with us since 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 the 1930s, when it when the two ecliptic planes of the two systems actually crossed, and now they're crossing again for the second time, and we're right in the middle of the hub of that. So for us to get, so our next big flybys now are going to be February next year and March, but we have before to get there. I don't know if you've seen, but Ari 55 has, 55 has posted a twin tail object, a small again, as, as, we, as we used to see them when I first started this model. But that's what we were calling Comet Nearwise last year. And that is now coming in. Now you remember Matt Rogers caught it on the, on the 15th of August. 2016 massive English filmmaker kind of much more into weather modification and and all this sort of stuff and, and was going up filming the, and it seen this red glow in August 2000 and like I say 16 and then he just watched it going up going up to uh, up in Hull um, late at night 10 11 o'clock at night and then on the 15th this this red glow turns into this massive object that comes clean over the horizon it's re it's in the night sky it's reflecting the sunlight much brighter than the, than the moon and you can see all of the debris all of the all of the asteroids in its tail trillions of them then 2017 i come to america at that point and we'd seen it on the 17th of august 2017 i just turned up into the country on the day steve olsen had organized a big conference on that day on the day of the flyby and um and i'd gone and spoken with all the other filmmakers and we'd uh, of the other Planet X, um, all the all, all the all those those who's, who kind of like uh, who are really big and in, in you know the big speakers on on the on the Planet X system, and so I came to America for that conference on the day of that flyby. You saw it on all sides of the Atlantic. Then you came to 2018, and do you remember? And I it, it, I'd made the video. I said, "Come on, guys, we've been doing this so long. I don't know why they turn up at this point, but 
that was you know that's when we had I'd made the video so you cannot tell me you're not going to get oceanic oceanic anomalies and you had the big earthquake you know where you had the big tsunami on the 28th of September and um, and you see the guy bareback riding is the roof of the, the right, right, bareback riding the roof of his house in a liquefaction earthquake into a coming tsunami crazy that's when the kind of like um, Krakatau caldera collapsed and that's what caused the earthquake and the tsunami I mean <clears throat> you can imagine it drew the magma up so quickly and then of course the side of the caldera has collapsed collapsed you know and, and so this one's very different to the flybys that we're experiencing at the moment the twins that are tracking with us this one's coming in straight coming straight towards us and going to cross our path you know we saw it in 2019 we had the big earthquake around about the 30, 31st of October and then we saw it in 2020 we had the big you know, again, we had the big earthquake in late October. You know, up in, up in, up in, it was like an 8.2 and I think it was an 8.2 in, in Alaska, around about the same time. You know, there's patterns going on here we just can't, we can't ignore, but we know this one's got a lot of debris. You know, we, we, we were watching this in 2016, 2017. This was the other side of it. When it, it comes in now, it goes out over there, except it's dropping back every month, every year it drops back one month there, it's around about. So we've just been seeing it getting further and further away. And that's why in 2020, we saw it finally enter back into the night sky. And, um, well, we saw it enter into the night sky to in 2019 as well. You know, so it, it was just, it was bigger than in the night sky and, and now it was getting further and further away. But that means that instead of us experiencing it massive in back in 2017, where it was massive on the 20th of January, the, the big flyby that really put me on the, on the map, the one that filled up the Mexican sky. And, um, and occurred on Trump's inauguration and I told you six months in advance you'd see that and it came with a massive 8.8 um, .8 in Papua New Guinea it was like or 8.0 in Papua New Guinea sorry but it was a big earthquake exactly the same time when you saw that massive flyby the most spectacular one and then of course last year we saw it you know we saw the ma massive earthquake like I say in, in Alaska and you saw you know you saw Calvin looking for Hobbs the new video maker to me you know I don't know how long he's been making videos but he videos but he put the biggest shot I've ever seen of any of them much bigger than the, the shot the really famous shot I put up on the 20th of, of January 2017 he got the shot of shots that's Comet Nearwise massive it's gonna be bigger than that this one so you've got a big thing coming in now and that's why I'm really busy preparing right now trying to do that this is much more about big sudden earthquakes and big sudden volcanoes it's not it's not like not not like this Icelandic volcano or, or the Kilauea volcano when that went off on May the 4th 2018 and just carried on going for three months or like like the Icelandic volcano that's been going on since March non-stop pretty much much longer than Kilauea because because this object has been tracking around with us much more than what happened in say um, 2000 you know to well you know, it, we're all very on a very similar ecliptic plane at the moment, so it's constantly affecting us. If it was coming straight, coming in towards us, and then out the other side and far away from us, but all the time it's something's tracking with us, even though it's either closer to us or further away from us, all the time it's tracking with us. We're not going to get that sudden electromagnetic pulse that we're going to get with this one. This is going to be a big passage and the powers that be are going to be very very concerned this is about fast moving asteroids i'm afraid we're going to be very close to it it's going to be very big and i'm going to make new videos a new model after this we can all sit down and we can make a new model okay that's it really Honey in the heart, a thousand thank yous. Put big golden rings of light around those people you want to protect. Put big golden rings of, around, of light around yourself. And um, and I really hope everything goes goes well for you. But this is, you've got a lot, a lot to prep for now. You know, there's a lot going on, whether you choose to see it or not. There's an enormous amount going on, so 
Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.